Old man here, and as the title says, the cobbler makes a new pair of mountain biking flats. So I was out on the trail the other day over the weekend, my flats keep coming off my pedals, keep sliding off. So what I decide to do is break down and I order myself a new pair of mountain biking flats. Hooray, hooray. I got to thinking, I got these old flats on here, I'm wondering if I can make my own flats. Question is, what would I need to make my own flats? Well, they've got to have a rubberized bottom, is the main part of it. And of course, they've got to be sturdy enough and not falling apart, right? This would make a pretty good YouTube video. So check this out. So I've got these flats, right? But look at the bottom of these things. This is why they were slipping off my pedal. Almost worn down, right down to the sole. In fact, if I press on this hard enough, I could probably punch my thumb right through it. So they're still in pretty decent shape. If you look at the sides here, there's canvas. The threads are still uh, intact. The only thing that's bothering me here are these bottom of the treads, right? So, what are we going to do about it? Well, I think I'm going to try to use this. Rust-Oleum undercoating. Resists rust and rubberize and paintable. I'm going to tape these things off, spray some of this on there, let it set, and then we're going to see if we can make some uh, rubberized bottom mountain biking flats out of these things. The other thing we're gonna need is some duct tape. And I've got some newspapers here. Let's do this. Let's fast forward ahead. Let's tape the shoes off and see if we can make ourselves a pair of mountain biking flats. Coming right up. So let's take our Rust-Oleum rubberized undercoating and let's spray paint the bottom of these and see how it turns out. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all she wrote. We're gonna let that cure. We'll come back and finish up this video and I'll let you know how this works. Stay tuned. We have finished putting in the rubberized coating on the bottom of my flats that I'm creating. The cobbler makes his flats. Now I will say this, there's probably five, six, seven coats of undercoating on those flats I made right now. So let's check it out. So if you look here, I got a nice thick coat of rubberized undercoating on the shoe. You can see where the flat part used to be. It's not there anymore. It's the same on this shoe. We've got uh, plenty of coating. I've already taken the newspaper off, so let's go ahead and take the duct tape off. The undercoating put like an arch in it. So maybe I'll have to put my foot in it and to get that, flatten that out a little bit. The next thing to do is put the shoes on get on my bike and test it out. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Hey, so I just put these shoes on that I made into flats. So check this out. So they're, they're on my feet pretty well. You can see the bottom of them is already starting to get a lot of junk on them. The stuff's really sticky. It's almost like I have Lester Hayes on my feet for you Oakland Raiders fans out there. Anywho, also, for those of you that can remember, way back when. Remember those old movie theaters and you walk on the floor and it's like that That's what it kind of feels like. Listen. <laughs> Interesting thing about that rubber coating that I put on. When I put these shoes on, it's almost like uh, they shrunk a whole size. My feet are very tightly wedged in there. Hopefully that'll wear out as I uh, wear these a little more often, but we're gonna see what kind of uh, traction we get on our pedals. And we're just gonna ride around the block 
And if it's a go, I think we'll be good to go on the trails with these. So let's turn on the GoPro, turn on the gimbal, and take a ride around the block. And let's test these uh, newly made mountain bike flats out. I can tell you right now, I definitely have grip on the bottom of these things. It feels awesome. The shoes are still a little tight. Like any new shoe a cobbler makes, they have to be broken in. Lots of grip on this, wow. It's like stick them. Again, with the reference to Lester Hayes, for you Oakland Raiders fans out there. <laughs> We're gonna check the durability of the tread after we get back. I know road biking is gonna be a lot different from mountain biking. I would imagine when you're on a trail, adjusting your weight, getting in and out of the pedal so much, definitely more wear and tear on your shoes than a road bike. Plus on a road bike, you're usually clipped in anyways. Let's go in the grass here. Oh my gosh, these things aren't going anywhere. It's like I'm almost clipped in with these things. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of grip on these. So I'm gonna try another test here. What I'm gonna do is uh, try to go back and forth on my uh, pedals, lean back and forth and see what kind of uh, resistance I get on it. So let's do it. Just trying to twist back and forth on the pedal. I cannot move my foot at all, holy cow. Now I am noticing when I bring my foot off the pedal. I'm getting a little bit of stickiness there. And that, you know, that's probably from the rubber not being completely cured yet. Which is okay, because I won't be using these again until a couple of days, so be 48 hours of cure time. The grip that these are providing is crazy. The only other thing I gotta look at is if there's gonna be any residue left on the pedal. But you know what? Pedals get beat up all the time anyways. So, it's not like you touch them all the time. Getting stuff on your fingers and everything. Your feet, so. Just gotta be careful of the other side because I've got double shots. The gimbal died, so, but we're still recording. Hey, just got back from testing out my new flats that this cobbler right here has made. And uh, resounding success, let me tell you. The grip that the rubberized undercoating is providing on the bottom of my feet is phenomenal. Uh, I couldn't even, it, it was like I was clipped in. I couldn't even rotate my foot. So this is gonna be really good. Going over roots and rocks, gonna be awesome. So uh, let's take a look at the, the bottom and see what kind of damage this has caused, if any. There's plenty of stickum left on the uh, bottom of these. And uh, looking at my pedal, yeah, a little bit of residue came off, but I think I'm gonna chalk that up to uh, the bottom of the shoes not being totally cured yet. So I'm gonna give these a couple more days. And again, even if it does come off, I don't care. That's just more stick them on the pedal, prevent any other shoe from coming off. So final verdict, awesome for me at least. If you're looking for an easy way to make an old pair of shoes into flats, this might be the way for you to go. So pick yourself up some Rust-Oleum rubberized undercoating right here. At the time of this video, about $4. Spray it on the bottom of your shoes like I shown you earlier, and you got yourself a new set of flats. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, 
promo time. Hey, if you really like this video, do me a favor, click on that like button down below. And if you really like this video, click on that button that starts with an S, ends with an E, and subscribe to this channel. And finally, if you want to see all the cool stuff I use to make this video, click on those links in the description down below and it'll take you right to them. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, quote of the day. If you're not willing to risk the usual, you will have to settle for the ordinary. Jim Rohn. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, this old man is out. So let's take our Rust-Oleum rubberized, our Rust-Oleum on those shoes right now, on those flats right now, on those flats right now. Take two, three, four. Pick yourself up, Rust-Oleum. Pick yourself up some Rust-Oleum undercoating, rubberized and paintable and resist rust. Take three. So pick your, take four. Take one. We're gonna wait for the AC to go off first.